All right, so this is Grim from American Server 233. And today I'm going to go over the current rushes and my strategy um, for getting the most out of these uh, the rushes and the events. So right now we have crossover intimacy, talent rush, and union experience rush. So first off with the, whenever a new event starts, I start by looking at the time limited events. Um, the reason being is that for the time limited events, I'm going to get additional items for the um, for the different events. For example, tees for daggers, and then um, whatever that is for the starstone blessing uh, to give you more opportunity to get points there. And so I'll see what I need to do to get the most out of those items without completely. Um, emptying out my backpack. So you can see here on Intimacy, I went up to 3,500. I still have some more I could use, but I'm not going to hit this next mark at 7,000. So I stopped there at the 3,500 um, so that I can use the, the additional Intimacy items in future rushes. Masquerading, I went ahead and did all those items. Um, we go to use of badges and I stopped at 220 that is a little bit more than um, than what was needed to get the last uh, time limit of that item here but I needed to use those additional badges to increase um, my empire power and empire power I'll end up getting to the 30 million here to get that last uh, T for the daggers event so I've gone through and I identified which items I'm going to be using, where I'm going to be going through. Uh, I've given up on the idea of trying to place first or place as high as I can in every single rush. Um, what it's come down to is I want to optimize the rewards I'm getting for the items used. And so I figure out before I drop anything, I figure out what level I'm going to go to to get the most time limited rewards. And that can then be used to get me more rewards in the events like Daggers and Starstone Blessing. And then the bonuses I get from placement are, are just that, they're bonuses. Um, so right now I'm ranked number four in talent, union experience. We're currently ranked number one. That can change real quick though. And then in cross server intimacy, I'm ranked number nine. Um, I'll be lucky to rank in the top 20. Uh, in, in intimacy. So when it comes to these, as I said, I, you want to optimize your rewards for the items that you're putting out. And so the, one of the reasons I define where I'm going to go to before I drop anything is that if I do that each time, eventually those additional intimacy items and badges will add up to the point that I can then go for um, a high ranking in crossover intimacy or crossover power rush and get better rewards. Um, but if I go all out every single time, I'm not gonna have the opportunity and I'll be limited. Um, especially where I'm not spending right now, it uh, you have to really be careful with what you use because the resources are limited. All right, so with intimacy, the items that we're going to want to look at to as far as dropping that, the 3,500, or if you don't have the 3,500, um, maybe you stop at 1,500. Because if you go to intimacy here, we can see that the last significant bonus for daggers before um, the 3,500 is 1,500. So if you're really hurting and you really want to save, you can go to 1500 or even 800. I mean, you're only losing out on 10 moves there. That's not a huge deal um, or 20 moves. Um, so you can really, without draining your backpack, you can get the majority of the rewards. But the items that you're going to want to look at here, we have the um, bracelets. You can see here the gate and the animal bracelets, the rings. We have the new necklaces that are out. 
Um, the first thing you're going to use before you drop any of these items, though, is you're going to use the energy orb and ambulance to masquerade. Um, when it comes to the server intimacy and then the crossover intimacy, that's always where I start because whatever's left over there, I can just fill in on top to get the rewards that I want. Um, and then it lets you save these items where you get a more definite, or you can more easily measure where you're going to um, land. All right, so those are the items for intimacy. For union, I'm sorry, for the talent rush, that is a lot of preparation. So the Imperial Academy is huge. I, I get at least a couple hundred talent each rush just from using the Academy. I will go ahead and put my Viziers in here uh, multiple times a day. Um, ideally, I'd want to max that out, but I haven't had the discipline or max the seats out on here, but I haven't had the discipline to hoard the diamonds and use them um, to increase my seats at this point. Um, I have a lot of practice seats going, and so that allows me every night to be able to add on between 36 and 42 of the time pieces. Um, so all night they are gaining um, What's that called? I just drew a blank. They are gaining um, book XP. And then come Union Rush, I have the 13, I have a total of 24 Viziers that have that book XP stored on them um, because of the Academy, um, both from pra the practice seats and then my normal seats. And so I'll go through and I'll start there, I'll use all that. And then again, going back to the time letter rewards, I go here and I say, okay, how many do I need to use here? And I decided this time I wanted to stop at 180, but again, I needed to push a little bit further so I can get that um, 30 million bonus for the, for the Empire power rewards. Um, and so that ends up leaving me with a good amount of extra badges here. You can see I have um, almost 400, about, actually about 350 extra badges. Um, that can carry over to Empire Power and Crossover Power, or I can just hoard um, for the Talent Rush again for next time. Um, so that is my take on Intimacy and Daggers, or I'm sorry, Intimacy and Talent Rush. Um, they're they're mainly just there to set you up. To get the time limiter rewards and then um, to be able to do the, the events. Uh, with daggers, the first day I take it slow. And um, you can even take it slow for the first two days if you'd like. I will get all my time limiter rewards and then I purchase the teas from the store so that I have a hoard of teas come day two. And the reason I do that is the rewards here. So this is for the amount of times you combine the level 9 daggers. Pretty regularly I can combine four to five level 9 daggers and that allows me to get an additional, what is that, 5, 9, 27, 36, No, nine times five, that's 45, an additional 45 badges um, just from this reward, so combining the level nine um, daggers. And so that, to me, is worth waiting and getting those additional items um, so that I can have all the energy I need to do those all in one day. If you were to wait to the, the third day, um, you could, potentially have a, a better opportunity, but um, the second day seems to be the sweet spot for me because I've used all the previous day's energy to get those two level eight daggers right next to each other, and I just hold here and wait for reset, and then use the rest of my items. And I can combine a lot at one time. And so that is my strategy behind daggers. There's additional things that you can do. Um, there's some guides that have been put up. Uh, the, the main point of them is that you want to keep your 
what they call the anchor dagger in one position, either in one of the corners. And you want to stick to two moves, meaning as, as much as you can go down and to the left or down to the right. And you want to make sure that one stays there um, by using others to hold it in place. I'm not going to go much further into that, but uh, that's the large strategy there. All right, and then the last thing I'll go over real quick is Star Sun Blessings. Um, this can be annoying because you just get a bunch of them and it takes a long time to use, but it's a good opportunity to help out your union mates and get additional um, rewards. So the main thing here is you go through, uh, you match up the Star Stones, you get your rewards, and then you go into your union members and you just click through them and try to see if there's anything that you can give them. You want to share as much as possible because your success largely depends on your union members as well. So you want to help them out. And I'll go through here and I, I go through, um, I start with actually the members I see have already been working on their star stones. And so, that way I know that the ones I'm getting give them aren't just going to go to waste. They have a higher likelihood of getting them rewards. And so I'll go through that and I go through everyone who has completed a, a constellation where I see has um, gotten some star stones. Um, all right. Now things not to use here. Um, one trap that people can get lost in is the increased empire time limit rewards. Um, there are a lot of things that you can do to increase your empire power that aren't going to help you with the rush and aren't going to give you um, additional rewards for like the use of badges, things of that nature. So almost, you know, for, so all of my power gain from this rush from the talent rush is by increasing talents either through badges or by using book xp so what you're not going to use in this rush you're not going to use attribute books you're not going to use these uh, the notes here or the passes and then you're not going to use any um, consort xp or pearls to increase the consort skills You're going to hold all that until, oh, and you're not also not going to level up your viziers and you're not going to use um, the fearless metals because those don't, they don't stack rewards. They don't give you additional rewards um, in this event. So yeah, you want to hold those off for power rush and for cross server power. Then I think that is pretty much it for these. Um, other than that, any union experience rush is also going on right now. Um, the main thing you want to do here is donate your 200 each day. Make sure you're participating in the voyages for your union. And um, that's really the best way to optimize the union experience rush. And then hoard the union chests so that you your union together can use those to get the most um, experience during a single rush. And that is it. I hope you, this was informative, and if you have any questions, please let me know.